One of the more unique places to watch today's eclipse will be 100 stories in the sky. Newscopter 7 right now over the edge in Hudson Yards and take a look at the people there securing their spot to watch the eclipse today. Yeah, the edge holding a special eclipse party this afternoon. And while that party requires reservations, there are plenty of other great places to watch the show. Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Glassberg live in Central Park. Where else with that part of our coverage? Lauren? Sandra and Joe, I have to say I'm very happy to be on terra firma watching the heavens. Here we are on the Great Lawn, really the heart of Central Park. And this is an ideal spot to watch the eclipse because it's just wide open here with a beautiful backdrop. But those high rises aren't blocking any view. So lots of people will be opting for this location. And we did speak to a few who are already planning out their afternoon viewing party. Are you yeah. already staking out your claim for the Great Lawn? You know, I am. I have some friends that are meeting here later this afternoon. So, I mean, we're excited to share this moment with a lot of friends and just the crowd of people, you know, here in the city. Hopefully, if the weather stays this way, you can definitely see it. Yeah, that would be great. So you just came to check out the uh, exactly, Great Lawn, like, see exactly, if it's viable? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, just here around Central Park and, like, kind of hoping to find a good spot to see the solar eclipse later today. Yeah. For those looking for options other than Central Park, here are some possibilities. Consider Flushing Meadows, Corona Park, or how about the beach like Jones Beach or even Rockaway Beach? Also, some unique viewing spots are the Intrepid or the Bronx Zoo. And for something a little creepy, the Greenwood Cemetery is hosting an event outside its historic chapel. But for some folks, Central Park is the place to be. I think it's a great vantage point. What's better than seeing all the New York City buildings and getting to see the eclipse? Hopefully, it'll be clear out for everybody. So, yeah, it's a beautiful spot. Come on down. Come on down. It is really beautiful here. The Great Lawn was just replanted after some significant damage was done over the fall, and it just reopened this weekend. So it's very inviting for a picnic and some eclipse watching. And for those of you who are a little bit enticed by that creepy Greenwood Cemetery experience, my colleague Kimberly Richardson will be reporting from there later on Eyewitness News at 1230. Guys, live in Central Park, Lauren Glassberg, Channel 7. Eyewitness News, back to you. We got all the oh, spots yeah. covered. Thank you very much. Enjoy Lauren. the show, Lauren.